Well, good morning, everyone. Beautiful morning for a walk. Pardon my squint, the sun's straight in my face. My nose is red. Uh, it's about 11 degrees below zero Celsius. They say 17 below wind chill factor, but it's not really windy. It's cold though, but I'd open up my jacket because uh, I walk pretty briskly. And uh, so I was already starting to sweat. <clears throat> I go for a walk every day. And uh, I, I, this may or may not be a way of holding myself accountable to make a, a video true in the future, but uh, I am sort of planning on it. Thought for the day as I'm walking here this morning in this beautiful world of ours, um, something along the lines of it's probably a good idea and perhaps an act of self-care to question the motives behind political leaders who portray both uh, Chicken Little, you know, the sky is falling, sort of narrative and uh, and the savior you know trademark <laughs> you know i mean uh there are many ways to look at that of course but uh to assume that their motives are pure that they're you know even benevolent dictators to 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 stretch the envelope and not just uh not just self-interested people with an agenda perhaps uh, and it's certainly all the way to the other side of just, you know, uh, philanthropists of their, of their time, right? Their own, their own, uh, days and months and weeks and minutes and hours and, uh, and, you know, benevolent people of goodwill. Uh, you know, many books have been written, problem, reaction, solution, uh, you know, Disease X, climate change, uh, you know, the recent pandemic, all of the other things um, that, and, and the things that they use to incite people to support various conflicts around the world that just end up killing more and more and more people. It's funny how, you know, I'm not a, not a Donald Trump supporter, but uh, it's interesting to note how many people really hate that man. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, Again, I'm not a big fan or anything like that, but it's interesting how the media, you know, and I would add them to the, the list, right? I said political leaders, question the motives of political leaders, but I would add the media, you know, and all of that. I'll, I'll save you the redundancy of uh, in, industrial complex, you know. <laughs> I guess I won't, but uh, anyway, it's interesting to me how someone like Donald Trump could say, I just want people to stop dying, right? And that's you know, touted out, trotted out as some kind of a negative, right? And, uh, you know, these people have failed you. They've failed me. They've failed all of us. If your government gets you involved in anything more than a purely defensive conflict, and I would argue that the majority of these are not, they have failed you. And add to that the fact that the citizens of one country almost never rise up and storm the border and take up arms against their neighbors, right? It's the political leaders who stoke those kind of things. And uh, it just kind of amazes me how in these times of turmoil, there almost seems to be more, I guess that's it. You know, a lot of times in a, in a period of crisis, people sort of rally around their governments. And uh, it's probably the exact opposite thing that they should be doing. They should be demanding a change. I mean, as, as any of you who follow my channel know, I'm uh, actually what I would call an armchair anarchist. I don't, I think that uh, democracy itself is immoral. If you do the ethical math on that, I don't know how you can come to any other conclusion. You can give me the, it's the, you know, it's the worst system, except for all the others that have been tried. Sure, but that's not an argument in support of something. You could make the same argument for, uh, you know, food crop, harvesting and food production and slavery, I suppose, back in the day. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's not, a, it's not a good ethical argument. It's just a pragmatic argument, maybe, if that. Anyway, uh, just, I haven't made a video in a long time, and I've been pondering one, which sort of has to do with some of these same concepts, but more related to personal agency, because that's really what I'm interested in now, is taking, taking charge of my own life, and that includes the things that I generally feel like are out of my control. And maybe they are, but as my mom taught me, um, what I'm definitely in control of is my 
response to it. And so that's a little bit more of what I'm thinking about. In the meantime, I'm about to pull a big hill here and I usually do it with you know full nasal breathing and all of that. And it's a workout, I pump it hard. Plus I have an ungloved hand here that's about to succumb to frostbite. So I'm gonna bid you a good day and uh, thanks for watching.